एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल डिजिटल केमिस्ट्री टूडे टॉपिक इज ग्रेहम्स लॉ ऑफ डिफ्यूजन एंड इफ्यूजन ऑफ गैसेस लेट्स स्टार्ट Thomas Graham's relate the inverse relationship between the relative rate of diffusion or effusion of a gases at a constant temperature and the pressure. It means that as you can see here that the relative rate of diffusion or effusion effusion of a gases is inversely proportional to the square root of the molecular masses or the square root of the densities. Here capital M denotes the molecular mass and the small d denotes the density. When the two variables are inversely proportional to one another it means that with the increase of the one variable the other variable goes down as you can see here that the molecular mass or the density is decreasing which is shown by a red arrow which result in the increase of the rate of the diffusion or the effusion of a gases Graham's law of diffusion or effusion in terms of molar mass It states that at the same temperature and the pressure the rate of diffusion or effusion of a gas is inversely proportional to the square root of its molar mass. We know that the rate of diffusion or effusion of a gas is equal to the distance covered by a gas in a unit time. Here R1 represent the rate of diffusion or effusion of a first gas and R2 represent the rate of diffusion or effusion of the second gas. So mathematically we can write this equation as R1 is inversely proportional to the square root of the molar mass of a first gas. R2 is inversely proportional to the square root of the molar mass of the second gas. So by removing this sign of the proportionality we get R1 over R2 is equal to square root of the molar mass of the second gas over the square root of the molar mass of the first gas so this equation is called the graham's law of diffusion or effusion in terms of the molar mass to understand the relative rate of diffusion or effusion of gases let's take an example of a ball tell me which one ball will move faster the first one ball is small in size and the second ball is large in size definitely the ball with small size will move faster just like a slim boy and the large ball will move slowly and gradually like a fat man now relate this these examples with gases the gas with less molecular mass or density will diffuse faster let's take an example of gases Here we have two gases hydrogen gas and oxygen gas as you can see here that the hydrogen having a molecular mass of 2 whereas the oxygen having a molecular mass of 32 so which one gas will diffuse faster as we know that the gas with a less molecular ma mass will diffuse more as compared to the gas with a more molecular mass you can see here that the hydrogen having a molecular mass of 2 so in the rate of diffusion of the hydrogen is more as compared to that of oxygen because it having a more molecular mass Let's prove it. We know that the rate of the diffusion of the gases is inversely proportional to the square root of the molar masses. Here the rate of diffusion of the hydrogen is inversely proportional to the molar mass of the hydrogen gas and the rate of the diffusion or effusion of the oxygen gas is inversely proportional to the square root of the molar mass of the oxygen gas. So dividing these two equations we get that the rate of the diffusion of the hydrogen gas over the rate of the diffusion of the oxygen gas is equal to the square root of the molar mass of the oxygen over the square root of the molar mass of the hydrogen gas substituting the uh, values in this equation we get the rate of diffusion of the hydrogen over the rate of diffusion of the oxygen is equal to the square root of the 32 over the square root of the 2 now this becomes 
square root of the 16 over 1 equal to 4. What does it mean? Here the 4 denotes that the hydrogen gas is having 16 times less molecular mass than that of the oxygen gas. Therefore, the hydrogen gases diffuses 4 times more rapidly as compared to the oxygen gas. It's proved here. Graham's law of diffusion or effusion of a gas is in terms of density. It states that at the same temperature and the pressure, the rate of diffusion or effusion of a gas is inversely proportional to the square root of its density. We can write this equation as R1 is inversely proportional to the square root of the density of the first gas. R2 is inversely proportional to the square root of the density of the second gas. So, by dividing these two equations, we get R1 over R2 is equal to the square root of D2 over D1. Here D1 denotes the density of the first gas, D2 denotes the density of the second gas. This equation is also called the Graham's law of diffusion or effusion of a gases in terms of density. Up till now we have discussed the two forms of the Graham's law that is that at the same temperature and the pressure the rate of diffusion or effusion of a gas is inversely proportional to the square root of the molecular masses or densities. As the density is directly proportional to the molar mass of a gas, so we can easily prove this that the molar mass of any gas is directly proportional to the density by using the ideal gas equation that is pm is equal to drt. So here we know that m is equal to d r t over p where r t over p is a constant number. So here we know that the molar mass is directly proportional to the density means that with the increase of the molar mass the density also increases or with the decrease of the molar mass the density of the gas also decreases. So we can replace the m by d. So this equation will become r1 over r2 is equal to the square root of the molar mass of the second gas over the molar mass of the first gas or we can also write this as by replacing this molar mass that is square root of the d2 over the square root of the d1. Experimental verification of this law. As you can see here in a diagram, a 100 cm long glass tube is placed horizontally and is closed on the both ends by the two cotton swabs. HCl solution is poured on the one swab and the ammonia on the other swab with the help of the dropper. The vapors of the two substances travel through the tube and the white ring is formed at the point of contact. The two substances reacted and produced a white ammonium chloride which get deposited on the inner walls of the tube and formed white ring. This white ring is produced at a distance of 60 cm from the ammonia end and the 40 cm from the HCl end. It means that the ammonia has covered 60 cm distance while the HCl has covered 40 cm distance in the same time. We know that the rate of diffusion is equal to the distance covered by a gas in a unit time. So here the rate of diffusion of the ammonia is denoted by R1 is equal to the distance covered by the ammonia gas that is the 60 over time t. And the rate of diffusion of the HCl which is denoted by R2 is equal to the distance covered by the HCl gas that is 40 over in our unit time. So dividing these two equations we get R1 over R2 is equal to 60 over T over 40 over T. So we get the answer that is 1.5. It means that the ammonia diffuses one time, 1.5 times rapidly than HCl. We can also calculate the rate of diffusion or effusion of a gases by using the Graham's law. We know that the density of the HCl is 1.77 grams per cubic decimeter. Whereas the density of the ammonia is 0.76 grams per cubic decimeter.
Now putting the values in the Graham's law equation, we get the rate of diffusion of the ammonia over the rate of diffusion of the HCl is equal to the square root of the density of a HCl over the density of the ammonia. So by substituting these values of the densities, we get that the rate of diffusion of the ammonia over the rate of diffusion of the HCl is equal to 1.5. It means that ammonia diffuses 1.5 times faster as compared to the HCl. We can also use the Graham's law of diffusion or effusion in terms of the molar masses. So we can easily find out this by using the formula that is rate of diffusion of the ammonia over the rate of diffusion of the HCl is equal to the square root of the molar mass of HCl over the molar mass of the ammonia. So by substituting these molar masses of the HCl and ammonia, we get rate of diffusion of the ammonia or the rate of diffusion of the HCl is equal to 1.5. Again, 1.5 value shows that the rate of diffusion of the ammonia is 1.5 times faster as compared to the rate of HCl. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe my channel Digital Chemistry. Thank you for watching.